Today I'm making a tortilla de tomates, which uh, I don't like to translate as a tomato omelet because a tortilla is rather unique. It's a completely different than an omelet. It um, doesn't translate well. Uh, after you see this video, you'll know what it is. <clears throat> okay, the ingredients for a tortilla de tomates. It needs a little bit of onion, which I've cut very thinly, as you can see. A whole garlic clove, which I'll take out. I'm just going to flavor the oil with that. And then I'll take it out. Uh, tomato, eggs, and just salt for seasoning. Just salt, no, nothing else. Okay, a little bit of olive oil in a no-stick skillet. I'm going to cook the onion first. Is that a good amount? That's probably enough oil. Onion and the garlic first. I said I'm just putting the garlic in whole. And I'm throwing the onion with, with my hand because uh, on the other hand I've got the camera. Different Directly on them. Both sides. I had the heat up too high for the for the onions, but that's really not the important part. You don't want. I didn't really want to brown them like this, but whatever, they'll be all right. So I turned the heat down very low now because okay. One thing about a tortilla, if you remember one thing is eggs in general. You cook at a very, very, very low temperature. You cook them slowly. Low temperature. Got that? And we're just going to slowly cook these potato uh, tomatoes down a little bit in the pan. Mix with the onion. Okay, it's in cooking very slowly. Mixing the olive oil, the onion, and the garlic. While we kind of cook out the the liquid from the tomatoes. Okay, just I'm gonna try something here. Really good. Just take a little spoon of this uh, liquid. Amazing. Amazing tomatoes. Cooked tomatoes. Incredible flavor. Okay, I've actually drained off some of this liquid. I'll be drain off a little bit more. I'm going to remove this uh, garlic that I put in before whole. Now I'll just mix this with the eggs. Okay, I mix this in with the beaten eggs. So I've drained off most of the most of the liquid. I've turned the heat down even farther now on the excuse me on the that I did. Once you turn up the heat over. So I'll just mix this in with the eggs. <clears throat> I might want to put a little, I don't think so. So I might need a little pinch of salt. It's kind of hard to tell because I can't taste it now. I think I put enough in with, I think I put enough in with the tomatoes. So we we'll need to put the and back on the stove a little bit more. Oh, yeah. this. And put that into the skillet. Okay, what you want to do now is to situate all this because once. Oh, uh, once you've got it set, then you don't move it anymore. Okay, you just want to get it so the tomatoes are distributed evenly. Now you're just going to let it cook. Very low, very low temperature. I've got the low setting. I'm actually going to cover this. It's one of my little tricks. Spanish people don't do this, but I think it just helps the cooking process. 
Okay, now for the tricky part. Or I'm going to flip it. I always flip it over uh, a bowl of the snake because you're going to lose some of it sometimes. And a, a lot of Spanish people don't use these for some reason. I don't know why. They're great. Uh, okay, now I'm just going to put this right back into the pan. And so this came out a little funky, but the good news is that I can fix this. As you can see, this side looks like it should never be this uh, burned like that. It should be all, it should be the color of a tortilla. And it will be on the other side, you'll see when I flip it. Okay, now let's finish it. And that is a tortilla de tomates.